So this is the second New Year's Eve video uh, looking at CentOS. Here we're going to be putting uh, open windows on CentOS. So thanks to the um, well put together packages um, that have, uh, have packaged it. Previous video we looked at open windows on modern Solaris. So Solaris 10 um, for x86. Same would hold true for Spark. Uh, and in here we're doing CentOS 7 uh, as a stand-in for Red Hat Enterprise because it is largely the same. So I was locked out here. Screen lock, so let me log in and make my terminal a bit bigger. I think that's a little too, too big. So... I'll go get it from my main machine here. Are you kidding me, CentOS? FTP is not found? Now that is really annoying. To not include FTP. Look at this. 96K it's going to take. Why would you not include FTP? Riddle me that one. Makes no sense. Yeah, now it's under a Solaris directory, even though this is Linux. My poor organization. Copy and paste that. I can't believe they didn't include didn't include FTP. Really bothers me. So we have here. Let's take a look at the packages. We got the source RPM. Not too worried about that. These are all i386. This is one of the things. One of the issues with OpenLook. It's called XView here, right? So XView clients. Um, XView is really the the framework. I think it was actually, it's just a spec on how things are to behave. Um, and there was OLIT, which was the Open Look Intrinsics Toolkit. It was Open Look the spec on the, you know, a lot of old terminology from the 90s. Um, but that it's it's not compatible with 64-bit uh, systems. So it's all 32-bit. All uh, for this, isn't a problem. It's a problem for me in some ways because I do Slackware in a pure 64-bit environment uh, for a lot of stuff, but I uh, digress there. Um, so let's install it all. And so it's going to go install all these, and it's got to get some X11, XPM, GCC, And curses, and some other stuff. Uh, okay, so 54 meg. Again, I like the Slackware approach where it's like, hey, we give you the kitchen sink, and kind of a, a complete base to to go install and build on. Uh, the BSDs do this in somewhat an even better way to say, hey, here's our this is what we have, this is kind of it. And it's not big, right? But then they don't include a lot of the extraneous software. you got to go ins install that yourself. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've, in videos, I've probably mentioned it a few times, going to be building a new storage server. Or buying, say, a used uh, Xeon machine, something like that, to do storage. Because I really need a ZFS machine uh, to do RAID Z and export NFS, export iSCSI, uh, probably fiber channel as well, and want to do that and get some more storage. I'm really uh, storage poor at the moment. So we've got this. So I am hoping, and we have not gone through this before, that this should be as easy as me logging out and logging back in and Hopefully it will have set 
for XDM, I mean GDM, a profile. And there we go, open windows. So let's see, so we should come up and so we get uh, console, take a look at the session. So this is open look uh, virtual, so OLVWM. Let's see what else we get. Shell tool, command tool. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I like this. Let's pull up some other stuff. Text edit, which is actually a really, really, uh, close that. Not a big fan of the virtual desktops, um, which I guess in the past was, was kind of handy uh, if you didn't have a big resolution screen. Uh, now at 1080, I typically have a, a decent amount of real estate with one 1080 screen, and typically I'm running two uh, dual-headed. Um, maybe my dream workstation setup uh, next year, because my new server, as I said, for storage, maybe my uh, AMD FX... 8350 machine, put some better graphics cards in it, and maybe do like a triple headed uh, desktop because the laptop I do all this stuff on is getting a bit long in the tooth. Um, it's an i7 47, whatever. Uh, let's see what other. We got any other fun stuff? Uh, Trying to s remember what came with File Manager. Okay, so another complaint with with CentOS, and again, I'm, I mainly just run Java and Perl code on these things. I don't need to deal with it in the desktop environment. But why no X term? That's that's crazy. And oh, that's not working. Yeah, I cannot. I cannot believe that they did not include X term. I think that's that's crazy. Absolutely. Uh, but now we have X term, so let's see. Yeah, must be on a different path. Yep. X term. Okay, what else can we explore here? Pretty standard. Um, okay, so this is this is pretty basic. So there's our clock. Pretty basic. Uh, there's additional set of packages here. We'll bring these over. And these additional files, so that was the basic X view, and so that gets you the uh, you know, the basic stuff here. Here we've got all the other interesting things. Um, so some additional bits and pieces. So let's bring this down. And let's take a look. See if this brings in any other useful tidbits.
so I have to skip broken. Why is lib notify not here? Yeah. Lib how. So I'm pretty sure how was deprecated, so there's no longer how in Red Hat 7. Yeah. We'll just skip broken. I really need to try these things before uh, before I go live. I guess I'm not really live. Although I probably will be doing more live streams. Um, I just wanted to record these because, you know, at least for the other one, there was some time to, uh, needed to take a break. And, you know, well, things were, uh, things were running. Oh, System D, the bane of startup. It's one of those interesting things, um, is that Sun, and again, you get it in Open Solaris, SM, SMF, right, is in Open Solaris, I guess a Lumos now. It's fantastic. Why do you need System D? Take SMF. It's better if you want that sort of thing. For me, big fan of the BSD style startup. It's, it's simple, and for most things, you don't need that, uh, don't need that much. So, skip some stuff. The file manager, that's annoying. Let's see what we have in, I'll go over here. Hopefully we get some new stuff in OpenWin. So the classic Workman CD player. I don't have any CDs. Pretty nifty. I wonder what else we have here. Games. Do the demos work here? Nope. So it's a little limited, and again, my Red Hat knowledge isn't quite up to snuff. I mean, this these packages were labeled as for Red Hat Enterprise 7. So why they're still depending on HAL, if HAL is not available, maybe there is... No, I think there might be like a HAL compatibility library. Uh, but there isn't. Um, for my purposes, this is fantastic. Um, you know, this might actually, I don't know. Well, if I had to run Red Hat um, desktop environment, I would definitely be using this. Um, so definitely pretty cool. You know Open Look is fantastic. Uh, it's lightweight, it's fast, and it, uh, it feels great you know, old uh, Sun reminiscences. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Now, one of the things I want to play around with, and I, I mentioned this uh, in the last video, is I'm starting to mess with uh, SmartOS, which is Joyant's Illumos distribution, I guess. And that has some cool features, and I think we're going to, I'm going to dip into it in some videos um, in the future, where you can, in addition to be able to do virtualization with KVM, so the tr t traditional hardware virtualization. You can also do OS virtualization, so like JLZ, Solaris zones that we've known for a long time. Uh, but you can also do like a Linux zone, so I can do a CentOS zone on my smart OS, you know, which is a Lumos uh, host, and if this runs well inside a zone, I'll be a lot faster in virtualizing, and just the zone control is really nice. It's all with a nice, uh, you know, JSON-like interface. It's fantastic. So leave a comment if you want to see some videos on SmartOS. My big problem is lack of hardware. Uh, my only unoccupied, my only tenant-free bit of X64 hardware is I have, I think it's an i5, and it's pretty feeble. It's an HP ProBook, um, and I think it's an i5. Um with a whopping six gigs of memory uh, and that's my old NetBSD uh, laptop 
So hope this was, was useful. Sorry, I'm a little over caffeinated and droning on as I typically do. Um, but there it is, uh, open windows on Red Hat Enterprise 7. Um, leave a comment below if you want to see this on Red Hat Enterprise. It's not Red Hat Enterprise, CentOS 7, like Red Hat Enterprise. Leave a comment if you want to see this on 6. And or if you want to see some videos on SmartOS with um, doing zones, maybe some Linux zones, and some KVM virtualization. Uh, thanks, and Happy New Year.